Hey Fabulous, do you want to find out the basic investing money tips for moms? Stay tuned. Well, if this is your first time to my channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back to Paradise. I am Teacher Melanie and I'm a licensed financial representative. And so I help families make money from home so they can design the life that they want so they can understand how to keep more money, spend less money, and have money working for them just as hard as they are working for it. And so with that being said, I talk things from marriage and money and motherhood and money and money and money and everything and how to make more money right and everything else um, in between so today I want to talk about the basics of investing and getting started when it comes to that and you know I know sometimes we get overwhelmed when we hear about investing and dollar cost averaging and all these different terms and you're like oh my gosh what in the world does all that mean but I just want to encourage you and let you know it's not as daunting as it may seem and it doesn't take a whole lot to start and I remember when I was starting out my investing um, for myself, right? Once I understood it, and then also for my family. And I'm just like, what was I waiting for? Right, what was I waiting for? And so now being in this space, being a, a licensed financial representative, where I do everything from the womb to the tomb, now I know it's like, I gotta make sure my people understand that that it's not as daunting and they need to start with where they are. No matter where you are, you need to start. And so if you have not done so, make sure you go ahead and like, subscribe and share. Go ahead and do that now. Thank you so much, I appreciate that. And also make sure you go ahead and um, you always follow me. Okay, follow me on my other social media platforms. So let's get into the basics of investing. Are you ready? So, you know, most American families, they live in a debt cycle as opposed to a cash cycle and that's because of what we hear right finances finances control them instead of they controlling their finances so i always want to help you to show you how you can begin to control your finances so finances won't be controlling you and as i said it's really really easy right but you just have to start with where you are and just have the mindset so sometimes you know we we get paid right we're overspending in our in our income or trying to keep up and not realizing that, you know, unfortunately, we're keeping up with somebody who doesn't really care about us, right? And so this is gonna really give you the opportunity to understand how to be debt free, okay? How to pay with cash instead of borrowing and invest um, savings, right? And building up more assets and, and decreasing your liabilities in the process. And so the solution is this. Step one is that you do have to learn how to invest, okay? You do have to learn how to invest. And the investing part takes with paying yourself first, okay? When you're paying yourself first, there are three fundamental counts that you need to have. And I'm gonna talk a little about that um, a little bit later. And then step two, accelerate. If you do have debt, how to be able to accelerate paying off those debts sooner than later, right? By debt stacking or some type of debt program, right? I usually help with my clients with debt stacking because it's easier to understand and you don't feel overwhelmed with debt stacking. And then number three is to protecting your income because your income is your greatest asset. At the end of the day, your income pays for food, clothing, shelter, the bills, everything that your family needs in order to live their life that they want. And so protecting that income, right? Ensuring your income would help build up the financial independence. And so this is how you pay yourself up. This is the basic when it comes to investing, is paying yourself first. And you do it three ways. You do it by having an emergency count. And the emergency count is where you have up to three months of income for purchases from zero to two years, right? Emergencies, unaccovered, unexpected medical expenses, car repairs, the AC. Mm. Yes, this light is hot, right? <laughs> and then you have what is called number two, the short term, where it's up to six months of your income um, for purchases within a three to five year period. And this is where you're, you're, you have a high, you should put your money in something that has to give you a higher rate of return. And so that can be, un, you know, down pay for a house, or it could be the vacation of lifetime, whatever it might be, um, just making sure that your family is good in the short term interim. As I said, that's something for three to five years. And then you have the wealth building, okay? So short term, I want you to think of short term as this, as you're building your riches, okay? But I want you to think of wealth building where money does not stop with you, right? You're able to maintain your lifestyle, 
for the long haul, but not only protect, maintain your lifestyle, but also to be able to make sure your families, your children and your children's children can maintain a certain level of life as well, a good quality of life, because now you've put things in place that money is working for you just as hard as you are working for it. And it's not stopping with you at that. And so when we think about where money should be distributed, right? 50% should be in a, an investment, in an emergency fund, excuse me. 25 short term, 25% is also to go wealth building. Now, as time progresses, when after you build up enough emergency fund, but you could put more in your short term and your long term investment. And so as it goes around, your emergency fund should at least have maybe about a 4%. Um, some type of vehicle that can give enough that's going to keep it with inflation. And then the short term and the long term, you have a higher rate of return of interest. Now, people often ask me, okay, so teacher Melanie, how much, what's, what's the amount that I can start investing? What is the, what's the minimum? A minimum you can start is like $25. Now we can spend $25 on a meal just for us. Okay, because we're in that season, right? Because inflation is real. And so when you think about doing that monthly, right? Doing it on a consistent basis and doing that monthly, you know it's consistent, it's called dollar cost averaging. So if you ever heard of that term, that's what it means, that you're doing a certain amount every single month, no matter what's going on, no matter what's going on in your finances, what's not matter what's going on in the markets, you're consistently saving a certain amount of money every single month. And that's called dollar stock um, averaging. Now there are several different vehicles and I'll talk a little bit in another video on where you could put your money in. But first of all, it's about starting with where you are at the end of the day. And I can tell you, once you start with where you are, you discipline yourself where you do it automatically. Don't do it yourself where you're like, I'm going to go ahead and do it every month. You always have the intent of doing it, but a lot of times it does not happen. Okay. And so you want to make sure that you set up your investment that no matter what it is going into an account, even before you see it every single month, that's part of paying yourself first, because this is what wealthy people do. They have three things. They have a financial education. They have a financial coach and they have a financial game plan. And so as a license, as a licensed financial rep, this is what I offer. As I, I do that, um, because I want my people to start, right? And so a lot of my services starting out initially, it's a complimentary um, initial appointment to see how I can help you and see if we're a good fit. And then we go from there and I present you with the different programs. And once I find out where you are and, and if you like, I don't even know where the money is, I'm gonna help you find it. Okay, I can help you find that. So don't worry, because I can I know where the money is. Okay. So with that being said, with the basic of invest investing, okay, the three things that you need to have in place, right? What did I say? The emergency fund, that's the first, the short term account, that's the second, and then the long term. These are the three things that you need to use. the fundamentals as it relates to the basic of investing and starting at where you are, right? starting with something. Something is better than nothing. And I know we've gotten these tax returns and all these type of things that's coming out. Congratulations. But don't buy another TV. Because if I hear that one more time, oh, what do you need another TV? No. Buy some books. Okay. That's going to teach you like financial literacy. Yeah. Join my courses. Up. Yeah. But don't buy anything else. Okay. <laughs> okay. Enjoy your, enjoy your life. Because I totally believe in enjoying your life. I really do that. But I also believe in making sure that you pay yourself first. Not your bills first. Okay. You pay yourself first and you set things up for yourself. And if you have children, moms, there are things, vehicles as well that you can do for your children, whether that's an Upmore or an UGMA, some type of custodian or a 529 plan. That's more for education. Um, but I just wanted to share that with you as it comes just the basic, the basic, the basic of investing and then get a little bit more detailed in another video okay, in another video. Okay. So the three things you want to do, the solution to the beginning, your basic of investing is learn how to invest. Okay. That's paying yourself first and step two, accelerating your debt. So you can pay off your debt, right? So you now can have the ability where you have more money to invest because the debt is going down and then protecting your income, which is your greatest asset by the way. Okay. Cause life happens unfortunately. So I hope this was helpful um, with that. 
as I said, make sure you go ahead and subscribe, like, and share. And I can't wait to see you in the next video. And what I need for you to do is go in the link at the bottom. You see um, my link where you can go ahead and book your appointment. Go ahead and do it now. And the other thing that you can do, sign up for my email list because I sell a, a value of information when it comes to money and making sure money is working for you and that you're properly um, investing and saving just showing you little tips as well all right my fabulous mom so with that being said like i always say remember to pray plan and believe because god is still in the business of doing miracles make it a great day bye